So we're following through kind of Cape Codish, Plymouth County Sand County Flats. There's an old derelict building, gloriously vandalized by board teens. And one cross country ski trail evidently heads off at this fork. But the important thing to know is this is where the bay circuit continues. And look, it's a hidden blaze. <laughs> if you kind of peer under the cover of white pine and look carefully as you're walking by, you'll notice it. Now we enter into a scrub pine forest. That's a common aspect of these Cape Codish areas, Plymouth County. This is where the glacier pace slowed down and it deposited a lot of sand as it was quickly melting back. Here on the Let's Make Sense of It voyage, we've already made sense of the Hathaway Preserve, and now we're making sense of the Cranberry Watershed Preserve. My fingers trace the actual base circuit route, which is again confusing, and this time, I actually made a screenshot of the satellite data. And this is more or less where we're going. And we'll be heading back up the other side and come into the parking lot again right around there. And once again we're at the works of Reels Mill Ponds making our last pass at the Cranberry Watershed Preserve segment of the Bay Circuit Trail. You can hear the roar of water through the old fog works equipment. A shack remnant alongside the power poles. The bog. And the outward flowage, quite a ways below. Significant difference in elevation, and so robust. And you see it working its way down through the bog. circulatory system core of the Cranberry Watershed Preserve. And lo, a monarch or something on a goldenrod. And looking back at the Kelleher Dam? Kelleher Dam. Reed Mill Pond. And that's heading back towards Silver Lake Regional High School. And here's our turn to the south towards Hathaway and stuff beyond. It follows the east side of the main bog system. Pine Brook. 
And this is one of the old crossroads, service roads in the bog system. You don't want to go down it though, except to sort of get in the middle of the bog. The former bridge that crossed to the other side is gone. So this functions like a little peninsula and it's nice for that reason alone. We came from the north this way from the dam and Reed Mill Pond and now we're heading this way. We've arrived at the base of the long east side of the bog trail and this is where you could potentially have confusion. Harry's already wondering about it. But we go down this way, and then it's counterintuitive. You actually head back up north for a little way. I believe when I came down here my first time, I went south instead and got to bushwhack a bit. Here's an old abandoned trail that's blocked off. It might belong to the cross-country ski people from the high school who have their own scene here. This place is perfect for cross-country skiing. It's killer for mountain bikes, trail running. You name it. These are all sturdy service roads built on natural sand that were once used for access to different parts of a working cranberry bog. So here we'll cut across the southern base of the longest bog section. You cross this cool little cement thing, and this will be an important indicator as a turtle jumps into Pine Brook. Here we're looking at Pine Brook from the other end, from where we were by the Russell Mill Pond Dam. This is one of my favorite places in the whole system. It's a great place to sit and have a picnic. It's very quiet. Here's the system. And what you want to do now, more important than anything else, is go this way. This is where I failed last time. You've got to go this way. I foolishly went this way and you end up in kind of a mystery zone. Not much of anything and eventually you stumble upon the railroad tracks which you need to cross. It's a great place to get lost in. This however will restore you to the parking lot with due diligence.